Welcome everybody. In today's video, we're going to talk about how the test actually works. Now, some of you, a few of you, probably already know how the test really works because there's an occasional teacher out there in cosmetology or barber school that actually understands how the test works and takes the time to explain to his or her class how the test works. But based upon the volume of phone calls that we receive every week, I say that number is very, very small. So we're going to try to explain to you in today's short video really how the test works. And there's so much misinformation out there. First of all, there's a couple of what I call them alphabet soup agencies. There's NACIS, N-A-C-C-A-S, and N-I-C. NACIS has nothing to do with your test. NACIS is the accreditation board for your school. The NIC, the National Interstate Council, is who actually designs the test in almost every state in this country, the NIC. And if you simply do a Google search of NIC, you'll learn what I'm talking about. Almost every state in the country has stopped designing their own test. Now they use the test by NIC. A couple of small states, and I mean in terms of population, not in geographic size, a couple of these small population states still do their own test. I think there's two or three of them. But every other state, especially the bigger states, again, in terms of population, California, Texas, Florida, New York, Indiana, Pennsylvania, these states, they all use the test from NIC. Now, exactly what does that mean? It means the state is not writing its own test. Long time ago, they realized it was a lot cheaper to let somebody else do it. And then they let somebody else actually give you the test. And here's where a big part of the confusion comes in. You have testing companies such as PSI, Pearson View, DL Rope, and a couple of the smaller ones. PSI is far and away the largest. They control the testing, probably 25 or 30 states at this point. Followed by Pearson View, then some of the smaller ones. These are testing companies. They did not write your test. They don't know anything about your test. These are franchises, like buying a 7-Eleven franchise or a McDonald's or a KFC franchise. You wanna be in business? You wanna own PSI or Pearson View? Buy a franchise and you're in business. You go in there and take your test. The person sitting next to you is taking the construction exam. On this side, there's an insurance exam. Across the room is a stockbroker exam. The people at PSI, Pearson View, and the rest, and I'm not talking down about them, they don't know about your test. All they know is your schedule for a construction test. Your name is fill in the blank. You're a computer three. They sit you down, they turn the computer on, you take your test. They don't know anything about your test. And this is very important to understand that they don't know anything about your test. You need to know what's going on when you walk in. Now, the test is set up very simply. Those of you who've taken it before know how it works. And sadly, a lot of you have taken it many times. I used to always say the record was 13. Then the new record was 14. But now recently, the new record is 17. This young man, I won't say any more about him, 17 times. Now, it's a lot like the lottery numbers, right? You could play the lottery 17 weeks in a row. It will never be the same numbers, and knowing last week's numbers will not help you this week. Same thing is true with your cosmetology exam, barber exam, esthetician exam, nail technology exam. Now you might see, if you're one of those unfortunate take it 17 times, you might see a few questions repeat occasionally, but essentially every time the test will be different. If it were the same every time, nobody would take it 17 times. Everybody would be passing it, second time, third time, tops. The fact that the failure rate for barbers is almost 70% nationwide, and for cosmetologists, almost 50% nationwide, tells you everyone is not passing the test. And the test is different every single time you take it. And people call us daily and they say, I failed my test by five points. I went back and failed it by 12 points. And I failed it by 17 points and then 11 points. I'm, I'm getting dumber every day. You're not getting dumber every day. You're getting smarter every day you take the test. You're learning more. But you're misunderstanding and you're believing that the test will be the same questions every time. And it will not. And this is the fault of your teacher for not explaining this to you. And that's why we're doing this video today. The test will be different every single time. 
Now, other thing you need to understand, there'll be approximately 800 questions in the NIC test bank of questions. And I say approximately because a little more for cosmetologists, a little less for barbers, maybe 750 for barbers, 850 for cosmos. And cosmos have a few more things on their test, but approximately 800 questions. You need to know what those 800 questions are. And if you want to know what those 800 questions are, it's really very, very simple, okay? You would get this book, and if I could figure out how to open this book, I could show you. Oh, there we go, okay? Right here, okay? It says simply on the cover, State Board Examination Review. It's available for barbers, cosmetologists, estheticians, nail technicians. It gives you every question on the test. Let's take this one for example. Number 12 says, a blunt cut is a good example of blank lines, horizontal, vertical, concave, diagonal. And the answer is A, horizontal. This is exactly how your test would be set up when you go into PSI or Pearson View. There'll be the question with four possible answer choices. The difference is our material gives you the question, the four possible answer choices, then it gives you the correct answer, and below that, the page in your textbook where you can find that material. So you've got the question, you've got the answer, you've got the explanation for every single question on the test. It's very difficult to fail the test when you walk in with every question and answer already in your head. Conversely, it's very easy to pass a test when you walk in knowing every single answer in advance. There's about 800 questions in the test bank. They're gonna push a button. Now, depending upon what state you're in, you'll have as few as 60 questions or as many as 120. The passing rate could be 70, could be 72, could be 73, could be 75, could be 80, depending upon your state, okay? It doesn't make any difference. It's the same test bank of questions, approximately 800 questions. You're gonna take your test, you're gonna look in this book, and you're gonna see question 15. The terms bob, one length, one level, page boy, or solid form, all refer to this type of haircut. Graduated, uniform layered, long layered, or blunt cut. And the answer is D. Once again, every single one of the questions that could possibly come on your test with the four possible answer choices. Below that's the correct answer, below that the page number in the book where you can find it. If you really want to pass your test, Get the questions, get the answers, get the explanations, and then get your license. Don't go back there 17 times. Give us a call, 760-534-4434. Those of you who don't like speaking on the phone, visit our website, www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com. And for the barbers out there, and you're thinking, oh no, it's a cosmetology site. It's not a cosmetology site. We really wanted to call it www.barbercosmetologyestheticskincareandnailtechnology.com, but they wouldn't let us. We had to go with a shortened version. www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com. Give us a call Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 9 p.m., 760-534-4434. Get the questions, get the answers, and get your license. Thank you and best of luck.